Um, yes. Yeah, and um, she was saying they couldn't find, but knew that they had ordered some. Um, yeah. And she's saying, how do you spell it? Wow. And um, and I looked down and here's this big brand new box that had just been delivered. Oh, and that was them. Avocado all over it or however you to pronounce it. <laughs> you can go home now, Beck. She's self commentary. <laughs> well, I have to say, you know, some days when you do this all day, every day, some days are better than others. <laughs> And yesterday I had this girl, I'd never met her before, and she came for a lesson and she's on this. I wouldn't, I would never buy the horse, but they did. And he's a Percheron stock horse cross, but there's there's not a lot of Percheron, go, I mean, not a lot of stock horse going on. It's all freaking big. It's got a head like this. And, anyway, he seems a very sweet horse and very quiet horse. Anyway, she's like, oh, she's about 14 or 15. Year 10, is that about 14 or 15? Yeah. Yep. She's um, very timid and, um, and you know, a bit of anxiety and struggles. And anyway, she was, oh, you know, I'm okay. And got I said, okay, now we're going to have a little camp. And she burst into tears. And I'm like, please don't cry. Like, it's not, she's like, oh, I've just been, and she's been in a riding school most of her life and then they bought a horse and she had some dressage instructors and they just belittled her and belittled and like she's a really lovely kid yeah. um belittled her and belittled her and she's like i just don't know anything and I, and I feel really stupid all the time and i'm like well that's not your fault that's the person sitting here's fault if they don't explain it enough yep. that you understand yeah so, so it's my job to help you understand. Good, good said, on her. And I being don't on. and I don't care how basic I have to make it for you to learn something today. I don't care. And um, we started and went through and went through and, and made it very, very simple and very basic. And in the end I got it a can of both ways. Yes. And she come back and she's like, That is the best lesson I've ever had oh, in my wow. life. Wow. And I said, well, that's the job of the instructor, that you learn something. And even her mother goes, I don't know anything and I learn stuff. And I'm like, yep. well, then I've done my job. Yep. And the kid's like, okay, when can I have the next one? Ah, I was like, perfect. Excellent, yeah, excellent, so, excellent. But it was so sad because she was such a nice kid and they've just belittled her and belittled her so much that you don't do anything right and she just had no self-confidence in yeah. anything that she knew. Yeah. Um, and in the end, she's like, I really do know this stuff. I'm like, you mm. do. You just have to work out how to get it out. Yeah. But it was, yeah, it was so sad. But it was, yeah, one of those, I was like, that's why I do this job. That's why mm. I like it. Mm. Okay. Did you want to get off? This is not really looking keen for you to oh. get off. But, but you know. I've got another story about him. Oh. oh, yeah. What's he done? It must be me home no, by myself. Keep it at the back leg. Oh, my back leg. Um, now my leg. Okay. Me being at home by myself. I put him in the free jump arena. Not yesterday, the day before. He was fine. We were no Come way. On. I didn't even have a jump set up, just the pole. So yeah, he was yeah. just getting used to. He went. Because it was his new free jump yeah. with you. He wasn't. Yeah. 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 He on. went stupid. He went to jump out the free jump arena. Thanks. Right, there was no pressure on him, Beck. There was no nothing. He just lined it up from me to there and hit it, hit the top of his chest. Thank God, um, Nick had made it solid. And his back leg has gone through the plastic into the outside. And then he's just got, got caught between bars. I bet he's going back his leg. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, all right. And he's pulled it back in and he's got it out like that. And then I'm telling the story. And then it took me like minutes to catch him. Why do they do this? What? Why? Sometimes they just do dumb shit. Like it's boys. a really stupid thing. Like boys. See, he's a boy. He's dumb. Sorry, it's a really stupid. I thought he broke it. I thought he's going to break his leg because he was trying to get it out. Mm -hmm. I thought, here we go. He's going to go up, push, and then it's just going to go stop. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit the same like um, Shane Davison's World Couples, Idol D, I think yeah. they call him. He just called Bucky. Um, <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. And we're, like they call him Bucky, but it's not really his name. Uh, 
um, anyway, at Nambour Ag Show, he got stirred up with the fireworks and kicked. And he was in those boxes. You know where the horse wash is at Nambour? The, not the not the one near the indoor, the one over near the outside yes. arena. Yes. He was in, they were in those stables, that long, that really long oh. barn there. And, yeah, he got through the slats. Kicked and got through the slats and felt like in his like the scat was only like this and like theoretically his foot shouldn't have been able to go through but his foot he went too nearly to the hop and so of course he was really stuck and first of all we were standing at ours with the fireworks because those fireworks at Nambour actually are terrible they are really really loud and because those roofs aren't very tall it it really echoes through the stables and they go on forever. Anyway, Tay starts screaming, Matea, mm. who I was quite shocked about because she's a vet. I would have thought she would have been quite good in a crisis. Oh, Clearly yeah, at this point in time, down the barrel of... she wasn't. Mm. And um, anyway, so I said to Stu, you go, I'll stand with ours because ours not been too bad. And then a few others came running and went to help. And Ross Smith, he went as well, and he was the one directing everyone's traffic as to what to do. He was really good directing the traffic as to what to do. So when the fireworks finished, I went down. First of all, I thought Matea was in the box, hanging on to the horse, switching him to make him stand still. Yeah, I know. She's not in the box. She's in the She's in the She's in the I'm like, okay, well, I'll go and look for Taya. The next minute she's come running back through. Have you done Nambour Ag Show before? No. No. Well, they sort of fence it off from the side shows and the horses, and there's you sort of only certain spots you can get back into the stables. And I come across her coming back into the stables, and I grab them. Slow down. You need to stop. You don't understand. There's a police car there, and there's no police. I'm like, what are the police going to do? I need an axe. I'm like, no, 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 you don't need an axe. Just, just. Take a chill pill. And she's like, You don't understand. And she threw my like slammed her arms out of me and took off running in the other direction. I'm like, Yeah, I'm not chasing you. You're just a crazy <laughs> yeah, you're just a crazy lady. <laughs> and, um, and so then anyway, they got him out. We had to pull the shoe off. We couldn't get his foot back in, so we got the tools and we pulled the he shoe off. He must have been a good boy. He was really good. And like the one thing I would have said Matea to do, she should have done, was sedated him. But she was so off her head that she couldn't sedate him. And anyway, a kind of crowd had come by this stage because Matea was hysterical. And I'm like, okay, everyone, this could go really bad. You all need to piss off. So I'm telling all these people just to go away. And reluctantly they did. And then we got him out. And he was sore, but, but okay. And then ten police officers turn up, four oh. fireys, and I'm like... They had no idea what was going on. It was just this crazy lady that had never showed her screen. And um, and I said to her afterwards, like, he's actually not too bad. Like, I saw, yes, but he's he's okay. Like, she was so wound up, she couldn't even give him a shot of butte, like a squirt of butte down his throat. Like, he, she was just off her Something head. Else is going on, Becky. Um, and then, but no, it makes more sense because did you see on the social media that Amanda Shoebridge died? Oh, yes, I do. And she, either her or her ex-husband, one of them was in, like they're good friends with Shane and Matea, and one of them is, one of them was in their bridal party, and, and... They're two really good friends. Yeah, and when she found out she died, um, someone had thought Shane had died, like she just threw herself on the ground, she was at Fig Creek Rock Works doing an event in school, she threw herself on the ground, she was screaming. Like it was, they were like, people were just like, oh my God, this was unbelievable. And then after a little while, she got up and she just got in the car and left. And like she was running the squad, which no one expected her to, to keep it. But she just, no one knew where she was. She just got in the car and left. She was just completely deranged crazy. It was, yeah, that's not... No, she was, she was hoping.